Today's video, I'm going to showcase this Vraska list that someone submitted for the budget series. I enjoy Vraska a lot. You know, guys, I've posted a bunch of videos of her. Um, so I'm, same thing as last time, I'm just going to go through on the cuff and doctor the deck. So uh, first things first, I've never been a fan of Mysterious Cocoon. I just don't find it impactful enough to justify taking a slot. So I'm going to remove that. Uh, Throne, of course, is amazing. Grub is amazing. Abyssal Chain, I'm not a super fan of. I don't like it taking a spot. I understand that it's an enabler for Vraska on your turn, but I don't think it's something that we need. Merchant's great at two. I'm going to leave that just like it is. Infectious Scorpion should always be a two of in a Vraska list because you get double the fatal infection, so you never have to worry about having the removal. Baby Mammoth is a fine card. I understand that you're going to get two bit Mama Mammoths in the top five cards of your deck, but that also... Um, stops you from getting to the cards that you want to get to in your deck. So if you're hunting for a piece of removal, you're hunting for a win con, this will get in the way. And that's just not something we want to do. So I'm going to take the Baby Mammoth out. Uh, Grudge Match seems a little weird considering Vraska is one of the decks that has some of the best removal possible. So it's just not a card that we need. Bone Club Shambler, this deck has like a mini zombie package and I don't, um, I think there's just better things to be doing. So I'm going to take out the Bone Shambler for now. Uh, same thing with the Mausoleum Witch. It's completely fine giving a creature relentless um could help who could be good help you fight the board but again i think there's just better things to be doing with Vraska. grotesque is fine um it's an enabler on our turn and it's just a big creature to slow down aggro and mid-range so i'm gonna keep it in elite forest guard has a lot of versatility because you can get one of the three spells but um not sure it's quite something we need so i'm gonna go ahead and take it out Silent Strike just feels very out of place, really slow, um, kind of a clunky card. You don't want to be drawing this the first like 10 turns of the game, pretty much. So we're going to take that out. Southpaw is one of the best enablers on your turn and its removal, so he, of course, stays. Uh, Gorm the Great, I just don't see a reason to run this guy. Turn to Stone is one of the best cards in the game, period. So, of course, we're going to leave that at 2. Caller of the Cursed. The only time I really see this being an effective card is if you're running Liliana and you're running Zombie Tribal. Other than that, I don't really think it has a place anywhere. And then the Centaur Sage is a completely fine card. It's just that it's a little slow, and I'm not sure we need the draw power, so I'm going to take that out as well. So now we're down to 15 cards, and so uh, whenever I'm building a deck, I think of what are my game plans against the three main archetypes in any card game. So you got aggro, mid-range, and control. So... Against aggro right now, we're not doing too badly because we have the Grub, the Merchant of Death, and the Infectious Scorpion all as two-drop early plays, so we're probably good as far as early plays go. Let's see. I'm going to look for win cons, so we definitely need to add some win cons in here, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to filter for cards that cost above six. So I do enjoy um, running this card because of the versatility of drawing two or creating a 12-12 flyer if I read my opponent doesn't have removal. So that's almost an auto-include in all my Vraska lists. Pretty much does what Sage is trying to do, but on the actual summon of the card, and it's a flyer, so it's a threat all on its own. You guys know I love the Crusher Worms, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in. It just closes the door on aggro and mid-range and forces control to have a board wipe. Do, 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 do. Let's see. This guy can be a very obnoxious win con if your opponent fails to have a shell game or a way to put it back in the deck or a turn to stone. So we can go ahead and add that as well. And you guys know I do like the Brawling Behemoth because um, while it's not direct card advantage, he's going to answer a card, and then he needs to be answered. So he's basically a kill spell on a giant body. Hmm. All right. So let's back up. I'm assuming that they probably want to keep the old graveyard, and I don't necessarily have a problem with it. I do enjoy playing Old Portal with Frasca, but Old Graveyard is, is really strong as well. And if you don't have a Portal, Old Graveyard will give you um, some more creatures to play, and then also it continues to have you draw through your deck, so it's completely fine. So I'll leave that as it is. 
let's see how many enablers we have on our turns. So we have Throne, we have Grotesque, we have Southpaw. So I think that's enough enablers for getting rid of stuff on our turn. Let's see. I do uh, actually really like Soul of the Wood in Vraskalis because if you kill it on your turn, you can gain six, and that can really get you out of uh, burn situations and help you stabilize against aggro and mid range. I'm also a really big fan of Infest. So if you're going up against Kaya, you're going up against um, Gideon, going up against uh, Naya or Nahiri, whatever her name is. Um, those wide boards, especially those wide boards that have armor, Infest is really good for punching through. Um, I don't know why this deck didn't have Foul in it. It's one of the best cards in the game, so we're gonna we're gonna put in the Foul. Let's see. I am gonna put in the Stags just because I like fighting for the board with bodies. And I wouldn't be opposed to the deck having a little bit more bite, so we're gonna add one more bomb. Just considering which bomb I'm going to choose. Our curve looks pretty solid so far. We can get win cons off of Throne. We can get Crusher Worm as a win con. We can get this as a win con. This is a pseudo win con. Not to mention the Pact of the Warlock, Whispers of the Grave, just finishing the opponent off with drain damage so hmm. not sure how I wanna put this last card in let's do this let's do legendary Chances are there'll be a good one of, right? This could be a fairly decent enabler, but I'm not crazy about it. I'm not opposed to this. So they liked the silent strikes, so let's just get a guy that can generate the silent strikes. And then that with a uh, crusher worm would be eight to the face. And I'm just going back through everything, making sure there's not something that I want to include that I haven't. Worm's Wake also isn't a bad card if you just want to go a little bit more beefy. I do enjoy uh, Gluttonous Goo as well. But I think... Um, I think I'm going to keep it as is. Alright, so let's give this a try. Alright, so we got a mirror match. That is not what we're looking for, but... Whatever. We'll take it. See how it performs. Hopefully the old graveyard makes it to where we can outgrind them depending on what land they have. Okay, so we both have old graveyard. This will be an interesting game. I'm gonna keep the turn to stone. There's certain targets I want it for. Aren't you beautiful? It's like looking in a mirror. Make your vow. Make your vow. Alright, so two pack of the warlock Braska decks. Good to see you. Let's go ahead and just progress the plan. I redecorated. Do you like it? Curious to see what one drops they get. Hopefully, nothing that can contest 
Scorpion one to one. Okay, Quasi can block that at least. So let's just go two. Interesting. <laughs> Little mill package going on. I kind of like that actually. Death is a part of life. That's unfortunate. Having crusher worms leave. My grubby wubby. Okay, so we can block here. We can block here. Okay, they might just block for us. So let's see. Yeah, I didn't think so. I don't want them to ramp that hard, so I'm just gonna assign to the ill omen that thing. Pay the price. Okay. Let's attack, see if they block here. They do. That's good news for me. Death is a part of life. We're gonna invest. Let's clean it up. <laughs> Removal for life. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Is it a pass after that? Yikes. Alright, so we'll just play our grub. We'll go ahead and play Whispers and we'll pass. Sure, I'll go ahead and block. Makes sense. No. Alright, that's fine. We'll just play it. We can block into it twice. See if they take it. Didn't think so. And we just don't have that much to do. Our hand is just removal. Old graveyard needs to start triggering for us. Goodness. Okay, old graveyard does trigger. Very nice. Alright, so I really don't want to use turn the stone, so let's just do this. It's a little slow, but it's alright. Big beefy boys. Let's do this. You don't die in vain. <laughs> All right. Yeah, let's go ahead and block. Next. I'm either going to take it now or next turn. At least this way I have the option of drawing something slower. I 
decorated. Do you like it? Okay. I redecorated. Do you like it? Their wisdom is yours! Indeed. You don't die. I mean, you could have at least swung with it first, right? Unless he just didn't want the potential of not sacking this. Yeah, this is a totally fine sequence of events for us. Yes, perfect. Give me some more creatures, please. Very nice. Alright, so we're just gonna do this. And then we can grotesque. I'm fine with taking six. Man, all the graveyards are going off. Yeah, we'll take six. And then if he draw if he drops one big thing, then I can turn to stone. Okay. That works. Let's go ahead and see what we get. Take the big boy. Had I made up my mind if I actually wanted to do that then or not. Alright, so two of our worms are going to die by the end of next turn, but he will either block or just take a ton of damage, so could be worse. Yep, yep. There's the turn to stone target that we've been holding this entire game. So give me that, please. Your art now. Uh, we can actually Heads up. just go ahead and get rid of some of the blockers. Hit them for a ton of damage. And this is the catch-up turn, right? And I'm going to save the last charge on the throne for the Clumsy Torchbearer. Yep, makes sense to me. I doubt he's going to attack. Okay, sure. That gives this a higher chance. Oh yeah, I didn't think he was actually attacking. Alright, that's a fine card. Let's see. I turn the stone the target that I actually care about, so I mean we can do this. Attack. You're next. Yeah. And now we can play this. Oh, be careful. And I kind of want to put him. Oh, excuse me. He'll just die because of the double trigger. You don't die. Death is a part of life. There we go. Justice will prevail in the end. All right, let's see what we get. I just paired up against an Ashiok, and there's nothing Braska can do against Ashiok. Doesn't matter what variant it is. Uh, Braska is just too slow. It's not like a Vivian or an Ajani that can actually get in there, so I just conceded like halfway through the game, and I'd rather show you guys a different game than just a slow, miserable death. So we're looking for early drops, and we're looking for infest. Okay, kind of got what I wanted. Gaze upon me and despair, ready to get crushed. Make your vow. Sign of the Ill Omen is very good Avenge against uh, Nahiri. Alright. 
play the one drop. If Quasit's next turn, that's a really nice curve out. I got your shield right here. That's fine. Um, I would like to just clear their board up, so I'm really hoping that they do block. Okay. Did not block. Yeah, I figured that was coming. I'm in no hurry. I'll take the two. Cool. And we have Soul of the Wood for uh, blocking Reach. And then if they don't swing with it, Stag, I'm going to have Stag pick it off. This is the kind of matchup where Vraska shines. Sure. Like if they want to play more stuff to try and protect it or whatever, that's fine with me. <clears throat> so I guess that was just a bluff and they were hoping I wouldn't block. But I think that's a little silly. Let's attack and see what they do. I can use Stag to pick something off. Or they can ramp me twice, which would be really nice of them. Yeah, and I heal twice, so... Okay, so they're not doing the ramp for me. So let's just play the Stag. Pick off this thing, trade here. Hammer time. Very nice. That works for me. If uh, Grub takes out a Retaliate, then I got nothing to complain about. Leave your foes. If they have shields up, I'll block anyway. So is he not blocking? All right, not attacking. Excuse me. Um, yeah, I'll get in my free damage. Yeah, this this stag has gotten is gonna get three cards. So here we go. We need you for a man. I think it's really uh, really really easy to box this planeswalker out. Spellslinger, yeah, Nahiri. I think it's way too easy to box her out. Same thing as uh, Gideon and Kaya. That's why I don't play them that much. Hardly at all. Yep. And we still have a good block. And if they just pass, I'm going to Behemoth if my land doesn't trigger and swing at them for six. Yep. No! Yeah, easy peasy. Justice will prevail. And that's what Vraska's supposed to do. You're not worth the trouble. So that's the video, guys. Uh, two games. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and thank you for watching.